Hi guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're gonna be talking about higher purchase. Now higher purchase, whenever you see higher purchase, I want you to think about simple interest, okay? Remember in the previous lesson, I showed you the difference between simple interest and compound interest? Well, with higher purchase, we only use simple interest. Okay, so let's do some examples and then you can see exactly what higher purchase is all about. So Tom wants to buy a television worth 12,000 Rand. Okay, now in real life, if you wanna buy a television for 12,000 Rand, you could either pay 12,000 Rand in cash, but if you don't have 12,000 Rand, then you could maybe do a higher purchase. And what that means is that you will be able to pay for the television over a few months or a few years, but you're gonna end up paying more than 12,000 Rand but it'll be easier for you to buy it because you only have to pay a little bit per month. Okay, so the shop asks for a 10% deposit. Okay, so if you are using higher purchase, you're normally gonna pay a deposit. What is a de deposit? Let's make a little note here for ourselves. A deposit is an amount of money paid on the day of purchase. So it's a small amount of money that the person who owns the shop is gonna ask you to pay immediately. The rest of the money will be financed using higher purchase. And that's where they'll talk about all of this stuff. Okay, so let's have a look. It says, the first question says, determine the deposit. Okay, the deposit's very easy, it's 10%. So you're gonna say 10% of the original amount of the television, which is 12,000 Rand. And then remember, of means multiply. And then if you do this correctly, some learners do percentages in different ways, but if you do this correctly, you should get 1,200 Rand. So what that means is that when you walk into the shop, you are gonna pay the person 1,200 Rand, okay? So if the, sh if the total TV was 12,000, now you've just paid a small amount, you've just paid 1,200, so you've paid for that, okay? So how much money is still left over? How much money is still left? Well, what's still left is you're gonna say 12,000 minus 1,200, and that's gonna give you 10,800 Rand. So that is how much money you still owe for the TV, okay? So let's make a little note here, you still owe. So what will happen is that the shop owner, they're gonna look at this 10,800. They're not gonna look at the 12,000, they're gonna look at this 10,800, and they're gonna say, okay, you can take the TV, but you owe us 10,800 Rand, and we're gonna add interest onto the 10,800. They're not gonna add interest onto the 12,000, they're only gonna add interest onto the 10,800. Now that's where we're gonna look at this part over here. So what we will now do is we will say 10,800 Rand multiply, or let's quickly say here, um, how much interest will be added? Because remember, the shop owner is gonna add a little bit more money onto the 10,800 because they're giving you the TV and then you have to pay it back. So because you're not giving them all of their money at once, they're gonna charge you a little bit of a penalty, which we'll just call interest. So it's gonna be 10,800 Rand, and they're gonna do, um, or let's first say, how much is the percent? Oh, 12%. So they're gonna charge you 12%, whoops, 10,800. And let's see what that gives us. Okay, but now that's 1,296, but then it says, every year, so they're gonna do per year. So we're gonna have to multiply this number by two, so 1,296 multiplied by two, because they're doing that for um, two years. And that'll be 2,592 Rand. So that is how much interest you're gonna have to pay extra on top of this number here. You're not gonna put it on top of this number, they're gonna put it on top of the amount of money that you haven't paid. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say 10,800, we're gonna add that with 2,592, and that's gonna give 13,392 Rand. So that is how much money you are gonna have to pay back the shop 
in two years. So how many, how many months do we have in two years? Well, 24 months. So you can then divide that number by 24, and that'll be 558 rand, 558 rand. That is what you are gonna pay per month. So how much are we actually, so we've answered this question and we've answered this question. So how much are we actually gonna pay for this TV? Well, we're gonna pay 1,200 rand. This is just a little side question. We spent 1,200 rand, when was that? That was the deposits, remember we paid that. Then they took the 10,800 rand and they, 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 um, they added on this amount here. So you could say plus 10,800 plus the penalty, which is 2592. If you wanted to, you could also just add these two numbers and that'll just give you this number here. And so if you add all of that together, that'll be 14,000. 592. This is just an extra question which I should have added over here. So um, that is how much you are actually going to pay for your TV. You're going to pay the 1,200 Rand, you're going to pay the 10,800, and you're going to pay the penalty, which is 2,592. And so hope that that makes sense. When we calculate the monthly payment, we don't look at this amount because that amount has already been paid. Okay, so let's do some more examples now. Mary would like to buy a lounge suite worth 20,000 Rand. She can either pay the full price or she can pay using higher purchase over three years. So remember, if you do the full price, then you will only pay 20,000 Rand. That is the cheapest way that you can do it. But a lot of people, that's going to be difficult to pay 20,000 Rand at once. And so that's where the higher purchase becomes a little bit better because you can pay it off every month but you will end up paying more than 20,000 Rand. But that's better for some people, okay? So tw like when I, when, I, um, when I was 22 and I had to buy my first car, I didn't have a lot of money to pay for the car in cash. So what you rather do is you pay it off every month, okay? So that's very normal for um, buying things. So it says the higher purchase agreement will be 12% deposit and interest of 10% per year. So the first question says, how much will Mary pay in total if she does the higher purchase option? Okay, so that's going to be the deposit. We'll have to work that out. Plus, well, let's actually just go calculate it. So we're first going to go calculate the deposit. Okay, so the deposit is going to be, uh, where did they say? 12%. Okay, so 12% of the original amount. And so we say multiply, and that'll be 2,400 Rand. So that's your deposit. That is the amount of money that you would pay immediately. So how much is left over? Because if the lounge suite was 20,000, what we've just paid is 2,400. So how much is left over? How much do you still have to pay? So you still need to pay, and so we can just say these two numbers minus from each other, so 20,000 minus 2,400, and that'll be 17,600 Rand. Now, the person who, the, the, the owner of the shop, they're gonna look at this number here. They're not gonna look at this number, and they're not gonna look at this number. They're gonna look at the amount of money that you haven't paid, and that's this number, and they're gonna add interest. So they're gonna say 17,600, the interest is 10%, so if you work this out, you'd get 1760. But then they're going to do that every year for three years. So you're going to multiply this by three, and that'll give you 5,280. That is your penalty. 5,280. So what is the total amount that you're going to pay for this lounge suite? Well, you're going to pay the deposit. Then you're going to pay the leftover amount. Plus, you're going to pay for the penalty. If you added these two numbers together, it's actually just the price of the lounge suite, okay? So you're actually just paying the 20,000 for the lounge suite, and then you're paying the penalty. So if you had to go add that all together, you're going to pay 25,280. That is what you are going to pay for the lounge suite 
if you use higher purchase. Then it says determine the monthly payment. Now you've got to be careful, you're not going to use this number. For your monthly payment, you have already paid the deposit. The deposit is already paid. So you can take this part out for your, for your monthly payment and you just add these two numbers together. Okay, it's the leftover amount after the deposit plus the penalty. So that'll be, so it'll be 22,880. So I, um, so I took away the deposit because that's already been paid. So it'll be 22,880. 22, and you will divide that by the number of months in three years, which will be 36 months. And if you work that out, you'll end up with 600 and 35 rand and 56 cents. You see, so for some people, or for many, many people actually, it's difficult to just spend 20,000 rand at once, but many people can afford to pay this on a monthly basis. Of course, you're gonna end up paying more, but it's easier to use that instead of um, paying 20,000 rand up front. Question C, how much money does she save if she pays for the full amount instead of doing higher purchase? Okay, so if she just pays the full amount, then she pays 20,000 Rand. But if she does the higher purchase, then she pays a total of that amount over there. So what is the difference between those two numbers? Well, it's the penalty amount, which was the 5,280. So how much will she save if she pays the 20,000? She'll save 5,280 Rand. So here's a slightly different way of higher purchase being asked. So it says that you borrow 12,000 Rand from your dad. He asks you to pay it back over 24 months using simple interest at 5%. Okay, so for questions like this, there won't be any deposits or anything like this, but it all works the same. So it says, determine the monthly payment. Okay, so you're gonna take the 12,000 Rand and your dad's gonna charge you 5% per year. So you're gonna say multiply by 5%. It doesn't matter if you say 5% first or 12,000 first. And if you work that out, you get 600 Rand. But now you're gonna be doing this for 24 months, which is two years. And your dad is charging you 5% per year. So you're gonna say multiply by two, and that's gonna be 1,200 Rand. So your dad is gonna charge you a penalty of 1,200 Rand. So how much are you gonna end up paying your dad? Well, you're gonna pay back 12,000 Rand plus the penalty which is 1,200, and so that's gonna give you 13,200 Rand. So that would actually be question B's answer. How much money will you end up paying your dad? 13,200. How much will your monthly payment be? Well, you're just gonna say 13,200 divided by, um, how many months are there? 24 months. And so if you had to work that out, you end up with 500 and 50 Rand per month. So that is the monthly amount that you would pay your dad. And then the total that you'll pay your dad is 13,200. You see your dad gave you 12,000 Rand, but because you're borrowing money, you're gonna normally have to pay back more. And so that is what you're gonna end up having to pay back to your dad.